Good evening YouTube, uh, just a very short video. Um, I was actually hoping to, to go uh, do a live stream with Richard tonight. He did contact me earlier. Um, unfortunately that's, that's not going to happen. I don't have time this evening now. So instead what I'm doing is I'm putting a short video up. I just want to follow on a little bit from what David Yates was saying um, a day or so ago about uh, how things are shrinking. You know, the products that you buy are shrinking but the, the prices are still rising. Uh, you mentioned about toilet rolls in particular and uh, Bisto. Ah, Bisto, yeah. F <laughs> F-H-U-C-K, that's how he spells it, Bisto. Brilliant, Dave. Um, I remember as a kid, I don't know if anyone else, I mean, I know you can still get wagon wheels today. You remember wagon wheels, yeah, but I made, uh, Burton's, yeah. Burton's made wagon wheels. Now, when I was a kid, I can remember when they used to come in these, like, um, square, square individual bags. And I remember them to be huge. Now, whether that's just because, as a kid, you look, you see things bigger than they actually are, I don't know. But, I, well, I mean, I wasn't that young that I didn't understand sizes and everything, you know. Um, <clears throat> I swear down now, you buy, you buy a pack of wagon wheels, they usually come in a pack of six or eight, I think it is. And they're just like biscuits now. It's absolutely scandalous. And do you remember the advert for Club Biscuits? If you like a lot of chocolate on your biscuit, join our club. Well, you buy a Club Chocolate Biscuit these days, it's painted on. It's frigging painted, it's disgusting. Everything is going up and up and up and the standards are dropping and you're getting less and less for your money. And that's the way it is, you know, that's, that's just the way it is. So, uh, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there. Um, I'd be very interested if anybody in the comments, you know, remembers wagon wheels being bigger. When they used to come in individual packets, uh, it was like a little bag. About the size of a jamboree bag. Do you remember the jamboree bags, I think? Being that I'm giving my age away now. I think they were threepence, an old threepence. But I can remember buying them as a kid, a jamboree bag. Um, and that's, the, that's what I remember the size of a wagon wheel to be. Anyway, um, yeah, the other thing I wanted to mention was uh, about bonfire night. Um, I was reading in the Metro today, and, and I can't believe the mentality of the youth. W what is wrong with people? You know, the, the fire brigade, they're out there doing a service, and they're getting pelted, bombarded with fireworks and, and, and rocks, and, you know, what is, why? Why, are, you know, I tell you, this world is... Getting crazy. Um, the sooner, the sooner that you know all this comes to an end, and there's only one way this is going to come to an end, the better. Um, anyway, thanks for listening. I'm a little rant there. Um, it's absolutely disgusting. Our people, and I blame. And in a lot of cases, I blame the parents because the parents have not brought their kids up properly. They haven't taught them. Like for example, when I was a child, <clears throat> I mean, I work in retail, right? And we've got people that come in with kids. And they let kids run riot. They're jumping all over the furniture, jumping on sofas. It's unbelievable. And they do nothing to stop them. It's up to us as staff to go up and say, excuse me, could, could you, you know, get your child off the sofa, you know, with his shoes and everything and on, and on beds and stuff. It, it's unbelievable. Anyway, thanks for listening. Um, I hope to do a live stream soon um, with Richard and hopefully maybe David too at, at some point before Christmas. So I'll catch you then and thanks for listening. Bye for now.